Salutations, spooks, spirits, inspectors, and welcome back to more Batman Arkham Origins. My board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in. Where I found out that's not the Soda Cola building. <laughs> that's the Soda Cola building. <laughs> I was in the I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh, my goodness. Well, isn't this a shocking turn of events? Batman's giving up. Where'd he go? Oh, there they are. Let's hey, deal with these this guys. Is you and your crew need to disappear. We're here. Big pig. Back off. What are you oh. on? Actually, didn't mean to do that. You're all mine. I meant to uh knock this guy out. Hold it still. I keep doing that. I kept doing it. This is what I've been trying to do. You can't get Huzzah. That building right there, right? Want me to reach up there? Is this it? Or is that it? That was easy. <laughs> I thought it was... I seriously thought it was that that building right over there. That was my fault. That's completely my fault. All right, uh, where do we need to go? We need to go over there. What do you mean? I thought that was a, isn't that a dive? Oh, I need to do the glide first. That was my fault. I misunderstood that I'm supposed to glide. It's fine. And like I also misunderstood the uh, thing here. I didn't realize. I need to do it three times total, not just once. Hello, what is that? Is this a different one or is this the same one? Sorry, officers. Rubio, what 
What's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. Shutcase. Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friend. I mean, we found the bastards stuck in little fingerprints right by the bodies. Yeah, we got Penguin now. I'd like to see him squirm out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. Yeah, so forensics would take all the credit. I'm the one who found the prints. That's why they call it first response. First pickings on the loot, but none of the glory. Me? I'd take the loot over to glory any day. Gotham's got no Ah, that's how I get in. Is what they're saying. Got it. Didn't realize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I saw that. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to let that go. I'm not going to let that go. Upgrade time. There we go. In we go. Let's forward the plot. This is just taped down. I see that. The police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask. But why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend. Or one of them, at least. She was no angel. Long list of priors. But nothing to indicate she was the target here. Fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. Hmm. 245 degrees Celsius. Oh, hello. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. Twelve degrees. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. Hmm. I like this. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room. 
these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? You know. Do better portray the height statue, right? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. And what would that be? What do we have here? This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. Uh-huh. And what do we have here? She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named... The Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago. And I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful, non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Nobody that matters. Hmm. Right. Well, I'll go ahead and leave this here. So thank you all very much for watching. And ciao for now. Ciao for now.